Kia ora and welcome to Arake Korako. It's a geothermal field known as the Hidden Valley and it's somewhere off the beaten track between Rotorua and Taupo in New Zealand. There's a short boat ride across the Waikato River into the geothermal field. Water is a great subject to use polarising filters on. You can see the difference in the reflection and colours here as I turn the circular polarizer. This slide just shows how you can see deeper into the water with the polarizer on the right hand side. I think I found a composition that I'm liking the look of for a long exposure, wanting to get some steam going from the volcanic vents. So I've set my camera up and I'm going to turn the built-in ND filter on. That gives me three stops so I can um, change my shutter speed, slow it down by three times and I'm also going to put on my filter that gives me a further three stops. Okay, so I've put the built-in ND filter on, kept the ISO 125, the aperture 4, 1 125th of a second. So that's giving me an exposure I'm happy with. Now I'm going to put the uh, other filter on. So now with the extra filter on, it's giving me 1 um, 13th of a second as my speed for the shutter not really long enough for what I'm looking for so I'm going to change that f-stop up. So at f11 I can get a shutter speed of half a second and that's about as slow as I can go with the filters that I've got. Notice how the steam is a soft blur. So the trail now takes us down to Ruatapu Caves Rua means second and Tapu means sacred. I found a nice little shady hut to stop and um, talk to you guys. So one of the other things that I've found is a good use for the neutral density filter is to actually slow your shutter speed down for photos to get the blurry motion. So here's some photos that I took just of me walking to demonstrate that to you. 